So in this tutorial, we'll be building this chocolate bar. We're going to start by creating the chocolate bar itself without the packaging. And later we're going to break off this part. And then we're going to create this little bit of caramel over here. And then finally, we're going to end up uh, making this piece of packaging over here. So let's open up Substance Designer here. This is the default interface. We're going to just customize it so it works better for this tutorial. Uh, so break this Explorer off. Close this library. I'm going to break these guys off because I'm going to put them on the side. Let's just start a substance. I'm going to use my uh, standard base setup. Now we can move these guys into the side over here. Like that. And we have the property field over here. First step here is just to um, set up our viewport. Let's just add a shape here so we can see what we're doing. Just connect that up there. So we don't have any displacement and tessellation, so we need to enable that over here. Make sure this one is at the tessellation and then just go edit here. And we crank this up a lot. think that we can adjust that later the height but that should uh, work for us so let's just kill that okay so let's get started so we're gonna start by creating the chocolate bar so first we're gonna create one of these uh, pieces and then we're gonna create the whole chocolate bar from that so we have one two three four five six seven and it looks like it's seven by four so we're going to start by using a gradient uh, axial. So with this guy we can customize like how our gradient flows. So we're just going to create this one little piece first. We've set this one to zero over here in the property window. 0 0.5. 0 0.2 and 0.5. So we get a straight gradient. So now we're creating just the edge on one side. We mirror this. So now we have uh, both sides set up. Let's move these over a bit. And we'll create another gradient. And we use this linear two. That's this soft, uh, like bulgy shape. And we combine these two with the blend node. We set that to min. So there we go. There we have sort of our first shape. We have the cut sides and the rounded top. Uh, the problem we have here now is we're using the full range. We go all the way from black to white. Uh, we can view the histogram here somewhere. Yeah, we use the entire range here. We're going to compress the range by using a histogram histogram range. And by the way, to get the node menu, you just press space on the keyboard and start typing. Compress this a bit so it looks neat. And this we're going to run through a tile sampler. Tile sampler is a node that just duplicates whatever you want to input into it. So we put this node into the pattern input. And on pattern here we say use the pattern input. And now we have a huge chocolate bar. We can actually hook that up here as well as we see it. So this is not what we want. First of all we need to set this scale to be 1. 
which means they all fill out the space. But we have way too many of these. So we set it to nine. But then we don't want to, our composition is not filling out the whole texture. So we will go in and mask out the ones we don't want to use. So let's just add a shape node here. Scale it down a bit. Get it a little bit like so. And we'll hook that up to our mask map input. But nothing happens, but we need to just go down here and enable this mask map. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So it's sort of what we want, but to adjust this, we can set a transform node. If we double click this node and single click this, we can be manipulating this node by previewing this node. So we'll just go in here and scale it like so. That looks pretty good. And we can also go in and adjust our height here because we're just something that's more sensible. Seems like maybe six. Looks all right. And what I also want to do here is, uh, so we have in our target here, we have the little NVIDIA logo here. So let's go back to Substance. And we're gonna find a logo here. Gonna just drag and drop. This is just a logo I found uh, online and Substance is automatically making this square. The image itself is not square. So I need to just do a bit of massaging on it to get it to work. So we'll first try to just, why do I have that weird? Let me try to just eyeball it in. I'm gonna do a grayscale conversion because it's a color texture. We'll do a invert grayscale. And also on this, this guy back here, you can say no tiling on this. Actually, that's not going to work. So we do it like this first and we do histogram scan. And we just try to get the logo to be in there. And then we just mask out these things on the edges here. So we put a blend node, shape node. And just multiply that on top. And there we go. And now we just need to stamp this guy on top of here. So we do a blend node here. And we set this one to subtract, and we do something really low. Maybe 0.1 or 0.2. And this just looks a little too perfect, because it's chocolate. It's kind of like a soft type of material, so we need to just blur this so it looks like it's... imprinted, but it's still a bit soft. So 
sort of like that. Also, let's let's head over here to our base color. Copy this. We set this one to color here. Let's just pick some kind of chocolatey color. Just for preview purposes. That looks all right. Also, you can just go and pick this from a, a photo somewhere. I'm totally just eyeballing this. That looks sort of delicious. Uh, we're not really done with the chocolate bar here. We'll take this stuff, move it over here. We can call this, uh, select these nodes and put a frame around here. And we call this chocolate bar setup. And this stuff here. We'll frame this and call this NVIDIA logo. We can grab that green color. And this one we can grab this chocolate color. And don't forget to save.